So this is just a follow-up video of this sports band that I have used for my Garmin watches. I've made a video about these bands here. These are the Yoside nylon straps that you can get off of Amazon and on other Amazon regions. They can also be branded as Ebenen nylon straps as well, but they are the exact same thing. And of course, link down in the description and I can also link to the original video. Take a look at these bands here. In my opinion, these are the best bands you can get for your sport watch, whether if it's Garmin or yeah, any other watch for that matter, very lightweight breathable but in this video we'll just be focusing a little bit more on the durability of these watch bands i've been using the black one for like one year and three months i've not used the band constantly for that duration of time because i've been switching a little bit between my epix gen 2 and my garmin phoenix 7x so my epix gen 2 i've been using the green 22 millimeter band and of course on my garmin phoenix 7x i've been using the black one here and out of these two bands there, I would definitely say the black one has been used the most. I wear it when I sleep, when I shower, and of course when I'm out and tracking my activities and just during everyday usage. So pretty much 24-7 when I actually wear my watch. And maybe the black one, I've been using that eight, nine months in total. And the green one here, I've used that like on and off in between those. So maybe three, four months in total. But anyways, let's just see how well it's actually held up. I have cleaned the watch band just so it won't be too disgusting, but you can actually see it is definitely a band that has seen some wear and tear here. But I must say, I'm very impressed by the durability of these watch bands. They are very inexpensive, so not really a big issue to switch them out frequently if they would not last. So the Velcro is still very grippy. And the little Velcro tabs, which was like my main concern. You can see there's like five Velcro pads here on one side. This is the part you use to open and close the watch band. And these are still very nicely in place so has not started to come off even a little bit so that's definitely good news you see there all of them on there pretty well and like i said do still grip the watch strap very nicely so it won't really loosen itself that much over time i rarely really tighten these watch bands up i just kind of put them on and forget about it and whenever it's time to charge my watch of course i'll take it off and charge my watch but that's the only real time that i ever actually needed to open them up when actually using them so for me at least they have just stayed in place so that's definitely nice that you don't have to constantly close it up or tighten it up you can also see here it does have a little bit more wear and tear at this part here because that's where i have been using the watch strap or this is the point where i tighten it to on my wrist so it will grip a little bit better there because it is of course used a little more in that area but other than that you can see the watch strap definitely looks very nice this is of course on the inside of the watch strap when you close it off so won't ha really have that much exposure to the outside elements other end here you have four velcro tabs there and all of them is still also nicely in place so has not started to come off at all so that's good news on the inside here still looks pretty nice and of course where those velcro tabs actually come in contact uh, with the watch strap you can see it does have a little more wear there, but that's to be expected. And on the outside of the watch strap, you do see a little more wear, of course. This is also the part of the watch strap that is exposed to the elements, so it will, of course, come in contact with whatever you're touching it, and of course it gets sunlight, and yeah, so on and so on. But overall, I am very impressed. Whenever it's time to charge my watch, I will just wash up the watch straps, and all I do is just use a little bit of soap and hot water, and just rub it all in and then just clean it with clear water afterwards that's the only thing i've done to maintain this watch strap so as you can see still nice still nice and flexible i would say though they seem to have lost a little bit of their flexibility over time so i had the need to actually tighten them on up a little bit more so it's pretty close to like the end of the wash strap for me but not really a big issue because you can just tighten the inner part here a little bit more downwards and then of course the watch band would be a little bit more tightened on your wrist so not really a big issue very comfortable still still have a lot of flexibility left not something i have really noticed in day-to-day -day life and heart rate is very accurate as well with this rush watch strap if of course you keep it all tight to your wrist at least for me that's been very accurate so very impressed this of course the black one 26 millimeters and let's have a look at the green one here so this one have not been worn as much still plenty of month and also 24 7 whenever i wear my watch i take it off when i charge my watch i regularly also clean the watch strap in the same matter and so on and for me this one has also been spot on no issues at all 
Very, very nice and very durable. You can actually see on the outside here first. Still looks very close to brand new. Of course, there is a little bit of wear and tear. Nothing really at all. Still very flexible. And all of the little Velcro tabs here still nicely held in place. So they use some very good glue here. See all of them still very nicely in place. On the inside, of course, looks almost brand new as well. And all I've done with this one, of course, is clean it, like I said. So definitely hold up very well. You can see on the other end here, that's where it starts to come apart a little bit. So this is the part that goes on the inside of your wrist. You can see one of the Velcro tabs that have actually started to come off. I've also removed this watch strap, I believe, two or three times from the watch itself, just to clean it properly. So, of course, every time you remove it, to put a lot of strain to these points here, because you have to pull it through those watch splits on your watch. So where it's, it's connected to the watch and there's not really that much space in between there. So you kind of have to use a little bit of force. So maybe that's the reason it will get a little bit stuck and you have to pull it through and it will get a little bit loosened, but still not anything to be mm. concerned about. The rest of them still is held nicely in place. So you still have like three of them to go by before it will actually start coming off. And this one is like I said, in inside of your wrist anyway. So I'm not really sure that this is an issue, but it's just worth, of course, pointing out that they are not perfect, but definitely held up very well, in my opinion. So after using these watch straps for more than a year, I would say they're definitely worth it. Relatively inexpensive, you can get them on sale also frequently. Very durable, very breathable, very lightweight, very comfortable. So you can really go wrong here. And you can also get these in 20 millimeters variants as well. But just keep a note that those are also shorter in total length than these ones here. But just one thing to keep a note of, if you're using it on other watches than like a Garmin watch, which have like very thick watch split, especially the seven series or seven generation, where you cannot really remove the watch split easily. I cannot say the same thing for watches like this, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro uses 20 millimeter watch split. And I did also buy one of these bands in 20 millimeter for this watch. But unfortunately, I just found that it would come loose too easily where the watch split is because there's a lot of movement going there. It can accidentally open up your watch split and then the watch band will just come loose. And worst case, you will lose your watch as well or it will fall down and you can break it and so on. So yeah, don't recommend using it directly on regular watch splits. But on Garmin watches, especially the seventh generation, where you cannot remove the watch split without actually cut them or using some very fine precision tools. It is very durable on there, but you could still have issues with sixth generation of Garmin watches because those watch splits you could actually remove and with a little bit of movement or a lot of movement rather, you could accidentally force that pin again to open up and yeah, then your watch band will just fall off and you will, in worst case, lose your watch. Of course, the fifth generation and prior don't have that issue because they're kind of screwed in place. And the seventh generation uses those new types of watch splits that you cannot accidentally remove. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, I would say they are definitely worth it. And of course, I will share some affiliate link down in the description if you are interested. And I can also link to the original video I've done of these watch bands here. I've also compared them to like other cheap watch bands and as well as Garmin's own ultra fit straps. So of course you can go and check that video out if you want more information about this watch band. But that's pretty much all I have for this video. Hope to see you again in a future one. Until then, take care.